John Oates here with Hankster's Hot Rods uh, here in our facility, Homer City, Pennsylvania. And we have here our newest addition to our inventory, this being a 1969 Oldsmobile Cutlass S Convertible. Uh, now this car, uh, just to give you a quick um, overview of the car, it's uh, an original California car. It is uh, the original color. However, it is a one repaint car, but done in the original color, and it has all the original metal um, that this car came with. So nothing has been replaced on this car. It's in excellent shape. So again, uh, as we always do, we got it up on the lift. We're gonna go through the underside of the car, back to front, and then we'll get it down off the lift for you. So we have here, uh, looks to be a fairly new fuel tank here. Um, there's no dents or dings in this tank. You can see just how well conditioned it actually is in. Um, the straps here, the insulation here between the strap and the tank, that's in good condition. The mounting hardware in good condition as well. Uh, the trunk pan, from what I can see from underneath here, again, all solid, all one piece. The original metal, the original floor, no patches whatsoever in that trunk. Um, so what I always do here is we go from side to side then across the rear end just so that you get an idea of what we've got here for running gear and so forth. So again, as far as tires go, BF Goodrich Radial TAs on all four corners and the tread on these things is just like new. Um, now on the back, we have 25560 R15s uh, and these are mounted on 15 inch Oldsmobile steel factory rally wheels. The wheels are painted and they're color matched to the car. So uh, complete with trim rings and the center cap. So again, that's all in really excellent condition. As far as inside of the wheels for braking power, we've got four wheel uh, drum brakes on this car. We'll see the front ones when we get there, but yes, it is four wheel drum brake. Uh, rear end of this car here, this is a 12 bolt rear. So GM 12 bolt rear. I'm not sure exactly of the gear ratio that's in there, but nonetheless, we've got a good, strong 12 volt rear in here for part of our drive line. Uh, suspension, just your traditional shocks here. You've got the uh, standard uh, control arms here, both the lowers and the uppers up above. That's what they call your, uh, your I think your metric four link, I think is what they call that. But anyways, um, that's what you got back here just for your standard suspension. Uh, and as far as uh, exhaust goes on a car, we've got dual exhaust. The pipes look fairly new on the car. Mufflers look fairly new too. We've got tailpipes up here that wrap up and around over top of the rear end. And then they shoot out the back of the car here. And they do have a set of chrome exhaust tips back here as well. All right, now underneath the center of our 69 Cutlass S convertible, uh, now we can see the floors. Again, all original metal on this car. So the floors that you see here, that is original stuff, original stamp steel pans, all solid. Again, no patching, not even under the foot box areas here where normally you would see some problems. Those are good and solid. Now, the little bit of undercoating that you see here would be factory undercoating. Uh, we did do not touch any of that. For the most case, what we normally do is just spray a little bit of uh, flat black just to make everything uniform underneath here. But again, this car is in excellent condition underneath here. Frame rails, this is a full frame car. So the rails go the whole way front to back on this car. You can see just how nice and straight and square those frame rails are down both sides of this car. Very nice as far as the condition on this. Uh, all the holes and everything like that, they are very good in good condition. They haven't been you know, pulled with any tie downs or anything like that. So again, everything looks good underneath here. Uh, transmission, we have an automatic. This is the Turbo 350 automatic transmission. And as I go over with all of our cars, this does have the flywheel cover. Again, it protects that flywheel from any dirt and debris that may come in, possibly chip a tooth off of that flywheel, um, causing problems later on. So again, good safety feature. We want to make sure that all of our cars have that. Again, you can see the exhaust now right here. Again, all the tubing here is in really good condition. They've got it tucked up nice and tight to the floor, about as tight as you can. 
Transmission cross member, nice and straight down here too. The actual mount for the tail shaft, that's in good condition and the hardware to mount it in good condition as well. Uh, as far as other things that we can see underneath here, um, there's really not a whole lot. I mean, we have the uh, emergency brake cables all hooked up, the fuel lines and brake lines all run. Anywhere that there's a bend in, say, your brake lines, they've got that spiraled stuff. Uh, looks kind of like the spring in a pen almost, only a little bigger. They've got that wrapped around those that way. It prevents any kinking of the lines uh, whenever they put the bends in them. So again, nice feature. Again, the e-brakes all hooked up, the correct hardware, the frame J-hooks, everything like that, all intact just as it should be. All right, now we've made our way to the front of our 69 uh, Cutlass S convertible here. So again, as we do all the time, I'm gonna start out here on this side, work our way across, that way you get to see what we're looking at here. Again, the BF Goodrich Radial TA tires, all four corners, mounted on those 15-inch factory steel Oldsmobile rally wheels, and those wheels, again, are color matched to the car. Um, beauty rings and center caps, all intact and in really good condition on this car. Inside, as I mentioned before, again, uh, drum brakes, all four corners. These are power brakes, too, but four-wheel drum brake nonetheless. Steering on this car, power steering, all of the tie rods, your ball joints on everything here look to be in good shape. All of the rubber dust boots are all intact the whole way around on this front end. Again, that's to keep the grease in, keep dirt and debris out. And again, it looks like everything's been maintained pretty well on this car. Ball joints, uh, both uh, bottom suspension arms and top suspension arms look to be in good shape and maintained and greased up too. Now as far as the suspension goes, this is all factory suspension, so your stock stamped steel components, both your lower control arms and your upper A arms, those are all your stock components there. Stock steering on this car, drag length is in good condition, nice and straight, not bent. Uh, this car does have a sway bar on the front also to help tie the two sides together and help with cornering and handling. Um, now the bushings on that, both your frame mount bushings and the bushings on your sway bar end links. Those are in good shape too. They're not cracked or split out in any way. Again, good condition. Um, pit and arm, good shape too. Uh, shocks are uh, really good, uh, fairly new. Uh, they do have the uh, rubber bump stops here on the lower control arms too. Those are intact. I know a lot of times you'll see cars come up that are missing those. These ones are on the car and intact and in good condition as well. Other things that we can see underneath the front end here now, this front cross member. Again, big old cross member here, again, ties the frame rails together up front here. Again, this thing's nice and straight, so it hasn't hit anything or been banged up whatsoever. Uh, other items that I can look at from underneath here, I can see that we've got a factory style radiator in here with a six blade clutch fan as well. Uh, again, like I said, I mentioned it's got power steering, power brakes on the car. Um, mechanical fuel pump and as far as the engine goes this is the original numbers matching Oldsmobile 350 engine that's in this car so uh, everything you know the drive line is all good on the car again good and strong and this car is a pleasure to just take out and cruise around it especially on nice days with the top down so with that said we're all done with the underside We'll go ahead and pull it down off the lift now, and we'll go ahead and do the outside for you now. That way you get to see the overall, you know, idea of what this car is all about. All right, now that we have our car down off of the lift now, we're going to go ahead and go around the outside of it now. We're going to show you, this is just a, it's a Cutlass S Convertible 69, not a 442, but it's just a nice example of a car, real nice car here. So again, we've got that burgundy paint on the car. Now with the Oldsmobiles, you have a couple little differences there as opposed to like your Chevelles and so forth. Um, you always had some unique things, uh, one of which on this car would be the bright upper body moldings here that's down the whole entire length of the car. So along the top edge of that fender, along the top edge of the door, and along the top of the quarter panel there. Very nice, bright work on this car and trim. It's very straight. There's no dents or dings in any of it. Very nice stuff on this car. And also the bright wheel lip moldings too. Uh, the Oldsmobiles, 
they always tended to be a little bit more of a, a classier and upscale vehicle, so you had a lot of this bright work on these old cars like this to really set them off. As you can see, we have the 15 inch, um, these are the factory style uh, Oldsmobile rally wheels. They are painted and color matched to the car. Uh, all the beauty rings and the center caps, those are in excellent condition too. Again, the BF radials, BF Goodrich radial TAs on the, on the front and on the back. Just a little different sizes, front to back. Uh, on the front, we have 235 6015s. When we get to the back, I'll show you those. Obviously, we've got the cutlass with the S emblem down here on the back side of the front fender. And then panel fitment on this car, too. Really nice, just all the way around. So you can see the gaps on the front side of the door and also on the back side here. Again, very uniform as far as the gaps go and the elevations on this front and back. Everything is lined up really, really good on this car. So again, door fitment, panel fitment in general. Really nice on this car. We've got both driver and passenger side mirrors on this car. Now the driver side has the remote adjuster for it on the inside of the door panel. So you don't have to reach outside to adjust that mirror. Just do it from the comfort of the interior of the car. Let's go ahead and open the door up now. As we always do, we just take a quick peek inside to start with. Again, that same burgundy color on the inside is what you see on the outside. The little rubber bump stops on the top and the bottom of the door. The weather stripping the whole way around the door is in excellent condition. Even the door jam U seals back here are in really good condition here for this car. All black vinyl interior. Got your bucket seats in here with the headrest. And it's all factory dash, factory instrumentation. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Closes up real nice and easy. Even the weather stripping up along the top side here for where your window glass goes up and fits up against, that'll seal up real nice. Again, it's in good shape. No tears or cracks or little chunks torn out of it. All solid there. The white convertible top uh, looks to probably be like an original top. Um, it does have you know, a little bit of discoloration on it. Um, you might be able to get some of that, like that Wesley's bleach white or something like that, and that may come clean. Again, that's probably years and years of, of a little bit of something there, but again, that top is in excellent condition. There's no frays, no tears, stitches and seams are all intact. So again, excellent condition there. And that has the glass rear window in it too. So again, a lot of times with these convertibles, you see that plastic window. Not on this car, you've got glass back here in the convertible top. Again, back here on the quarter panel, that trim in excellent condition here. The wheel lift moldings, the beauty rings and center caps on those rally wheels, and those BF Good Rich radial TAs. Now, on the back, uh, these tires here are, let me look real quick, 255 60R15s. So, again, those are your tire sizes. Just a little bit of difference in the front versus the rear to give the car just a little bit of downward brake in the front. All right, now that we're here around the back side of our 69 Cutlass S convertible, we can take a look now at this from this angle, get you a little better viewpoint here, back here. As you can see, that white convertible top, the glass insert here for your back window, and that glass is in excellent condition on there, and again, the, all the seams, all the stitching on that convertible top are in excellent condition. No rips or tears or anything at all like that. So again, excellent shape. The trim bright work around the convertible top, again, excellent condition, polished up nice, good and straight the whole way around. No dents or dings in any of that. Trunk lid on the car, very straight. Paint smooth and shiny, same, you know, the whole way around the car, burgundy paint. You can look at your gaps the whole way up along the side of the trunk lid here in your quarter panel. Those are very uniform, side to side, even gaps. And then as far as the fitment goes, even up here at the top, very good fitment, good uh, elevation back here too. Uh, very little deviation when you go from the trunk to that rear panel there behind the glass. There. Now again, you have the cutlass emblem on the trunk lid here. All of your bezels and bright work around your taillights. 
That is all in excellent shape. They look, look to be about new on this car. You see the bright working trim here along the trunk lid here with the Oldsmobile branding in it. That's polished up nice and in excellent condition also. Big chrome bumpers here. Those look really good too. Um, not sure if the chrome's ever been redone, but it looks like it might have been. They are in good shape. And then again, you can see those tailpipes sticking out back here, the chrome exhaust tips. Lenses in your taillights and your backup lights, those are all in excellent condition too. There's no cracks, no chips out of those whatsoever. Good and smooth, look really nice. Let's go ahead and open our trunk. You hear it pop there so you know that the trunk lock works on it. As we open it up, you can see that same burgundy color on the inside of the trunk lid. You've got all of your rubber bump stops on that trunk lid, just like it should. So it fits down tight, but doesn't uh, rub metal against metal. Your weather stripping here is in really good shape too. Uh, this looks like, uh, looks like it's pretty new. It's real soft. Um, and again, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with that sealing up. There's no chunks or tears out of that. The whole way around looks really good. Now the inside of our trunk, our trunk floors themselves, Good, solid floors, one piece metal, no patching that I can see whatsoever in here. Finished off in the black and aqua trunk spatter paint. Looks really, really good back here. Again, no patching, no holes, even your drain plugs are all intact on this trunk here. Now that we're here on the passenger side, everything's going to be the same as what we just went over on the driver's side. So we'll just take a quick trip up along the side here and that way we can get to the front end and the business end of the car a little bit quicker there. So again, starting at the back here, quarter panels. I mentioned on the other side, we've got the, the trim that the Oldsmobile has all the way from the quarter panel clear up to the very front edge of that front fender. Again, that's in really good condition, polished up real nice. Like I said, all the bright work on this car is done up really, really nice. Uh, even on the uh, your side marker lights, Oldsmobile was a little different, a little creative. They went ahead and put the Oldsmobile insignia here, uh, the little uh, rocket, I guess that they called it, because a lot of times you have the, uh, the Olds rocket engines in there, so that's what you would have back here in your side marker lights. Again, the little bezels around there are in good shape. Lens covers are in excellent shape too. The bright wheel lip moldings, as I mentioned before, Beauty rings, center caps, the Oldsmobile rally wheels here, color match to the car. We've already gone over the BF Goodrich tires, the sizes and everything on those. As we get to the door again, we'll check out our gaps on the back side of the door. And we'll also come up here, look at the gaps on the front side of the door. Again, very uniform, front to back on this door. Elevations are dead on. So again, our door fitment is almost perfect on this car. As we do with the other side, we open up this side too. Take a look on the inside. Again, that same burgundy paint, the rubber bump stops, top and on the bottom. The weather stripping the whole way around the door in excellent shape. Probably new or fairly new. As I said, there's no cracks or tears or chunks torn out of it. So again, sealing up from the elements should not be an issue. Even those door jam U seals back here are in good shape. You've got the wide sill moldings down here or the threshold plates that they call them. Those are in good condition too. I've already mentioned the interior briefly. We'll take a more in-depth look at that once we get inside. As we close the door, you see how easy that shuts. So again, just once again shows you how well those doors are adjusted. Again, like I said, that bright work continues all the way to the front fender here. And again, that's all nicely polished up in good condition. The cutlass S emblems back here, just like they were on the other side. Again, wheel lip moldings, beauty ring center caps, the rally wheels, all in good shape. And again, the side marker lights up front here, lens covers, no cracks or chips out of those. So those are in excellent shape too. All right, finally now, 360 degrees, we've made it around the car. Now we're here at the front. As you can see, Oldsmobile, you've got the old script emblem right here. Uh, this is all, again, like I want to 
bring out here to you is again, this is all original metal on this car. So nothing has been replaced on it. So again, this is the original steel hood. Um, there's just a, a couple of tiny little imperfections. I see one spot back on the hood there that looks like it may have been brush touched um, with some paint there. So probably a little chip that they brush touched. So they did not leave the metal untreated. They covered it back up again. Um, just a little tiny uh, blister right there. But again, it's probably, uh, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch, uh, to tell you the truth, not very big at all. But again, all original stuff here on this car. The grill work, uh, this is gray, painted gray, uh, and it's all intact. There's nothing broke, no pieces missing, all complete and in really, really good shape. The headlights, both your low and high beams, these are just your traditional sealed beam lights. So again, glass lenses, and those are in excellent shape. There's no cracks or, or chips out of any of those, and all are functional. Uh, the bumper itself, nice big chrome bumper, polished up real nice and in good shape. Even your lenses for your parking lights down below, those are in excellent shape on both sides. No cracks or chips out of those lenses. Let's go ahead and open up our uh, well, it's down here. We'll open up our hood and we'll show you what is underneath here now. Okay, so again, all original stuff here. This would be the original, uh, the original insulation for under the hood. So again, you can see it's, you know, showing a little bit of age, but it's original stuff, so it's bound to a little bit. Again, the overall condition of the car has just been taken care of very, very well over the years. This is the original numbers matching motor for this car. It is a 350 Oldsmobile motor. We've checked the numbers on the casting itself and it is the original motor. Um, we've got the original style air cleaner. It's all the stock cast components. So your stock cast intake, you've got your painted valve covers, all Oldsmobile gold. You've got stock cast exhaust manifolds on the car. All factory air conditioning too. Very rare to find that on these cars nowadays, but it's all here and all intact. You've got a factory style radiator, got the clutch fan in here for cooling. Um, other than that, we've got power brakes, power steering, uh, and a good interstate battery in the car. Again, all in excellent shape for the age of the car. So again, testament to how well it's been taken care of. All right, here we are now sitting inside the comfort of our 69 Oldsmobile Cutlass S convertible. This is an all black vinyl interior car. You can see how nice the interior is in this car. Factory dash, bucket seats, the headrests. Again, power convertible top does work. Okay, all of your sun visors are intact and in very good shape. You even got a mirror over here for your passenger over here. To whatever do your makeup or whatever you're going to do in the, on your trip in this car anyways factory steering wheel steering column also factory automatic center console here with the floor shifter and as far as your dash goes you've got all the factory instrumentation in this car so you've got your fuel uh, your oil pressure and your temperature gauge all in one over there to the far left right in the middle is a 120 mile an hour speedo and then over here on the right side is just your factory clock. Now this car does still retain the factory heat and AC controls and the factory AM radio in this car. Again, I mentioned it is a power top. The little power top button is right up here, right underneath your vent in your dash here for your air conditioning. Um, so that's all intact. You've got a little bit of wood grain trim here uh, with your S cutlass emblems in here. You've got the S's also on the door panels as well. Again, door panels, the carpeting, everything is in excellent condition in this car. All original stuff, like I said. Um, all the metal was original on the car, the original motor in the car, um, everything about it. Just well kept throughout the years. Now this car, I believe, was an original uh, California car. It was also just a one repaint car too but done in the original color. So again, everything about this car maintains 
what it came with from the factory as original equipment. With that said, we're all done with everything in here and outside, except for firing the motor up for you. So in the meantime, if you have any questions about this car or any other car we have in our inventory, shoot us a call or an email. Uh, all of our contact information is available to you throughout all the photos and the videos that we do, and also on our website at www.hangsters.com.